Celiac disease is a challenging autoimmune disorder that affects the small intestine. Its pathophysiology, diagnosis, management, and possible therapeutic options have been extensively studied. The genetic background, HLA, DQ2, DQ8 positivity and non-HLA genes, is a mandatory determinant of the disease, which occurs with the contribution of environmental factors such as viral infections and dysbiosis of gut microbiota. Its prevalence in the general population is approximately 1%, with female predominance. The disease can occur at any age and has a variety of symptoms and manifestations leading to several phenotypes, including gastrointestinal, extraintestinal, subclinical, potential, seronegative, non-responsive, and refractory. Currently, the only treatment for celiac disease is a lifelong, strict gluten-free diet leading to improvement in quality of life, ameliorating symptoms, and preventing the occurrence of refractory celiac disease, ulcerative jejunoelitis, and small intestinal adenocarcinoma and lymphoma. However, challenges remain, including obtaining a better understanding of still unclear phenotypes such as slow responsive, potential, minimal lesions, and seronegative celiac disease. The identification of alternative or complementary treatments to the gluten-free diet brings hope for patients unavoidably burdened by diet restrictions. This article was authored by Giacomo Keo, Umberto Volta, Anna Sapwan, and others. We are article.tv, links in the description below.